The first problem that I have chosen is check distance between same letters. So this seems like a very easy question and I'll be explaining you this question as well as the algorithm behind it by the presentation. So let's question says that you are given a string and in this string each character appears exactly twice. So this is a very important statement that all the characters will appear exactly two times in the input string. We are also given the distance array and what does this distance array signify? This distance array signifies the probable distance value that may exist between the two instances of that same character. For example, this is distance array says whether the distance between the A's that are present in my input string is 1 or not, the, that of B is 3 or not, that of C is 0, that of D is 5, that of E is 0 and for the rest of the elements as well. This is the expected distance value that is there. What do we need to do? We need to validate whether the actual distance value that exists in this input string is equal to the distance array values that is given in this array or not. Also there is one corner case which they have specified so I will be walking you through that corner case while iterating over the input array. So let's start the iteration. So what we are going to do? We will store the indices at which A occurs in the input string. So what are the indices at which A occurs in the input string? So let me just rise the indexes as well 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So for A what we are going to store? We will store the indices at which A occurs. So A occurs at 0, A occurs at 2. So let's store that up. So A occurs at 0, A occurs at 2. Where does B occur? B occurs at 1, B occurs at 5. So let's write it up. B occurs at 1, B occurs at 5. Let's do it for C. Uh, the first in index at which C occurs is 3. Uh, and second index at which C occurs is 4. So this is it. Once we have calculated the indexes at which each character occurs, now comes the validation part. So let's start the iteration across the expected distance array that is there. So the expected distance array for the character A is 1. What do we do? Since we are at character A, we check at what two indexes does A occur. So A occur at 0, A occur at 2, the second index. We can easily calculate the distance. The distance value would be equal to 2 minus 0 minus 1. So 2 minus 0 minus 1. So second index at which A occurs, first index at which A occurs, minus 1. So this is the formula that we have generated and this will give you the distance value, the actual distance value to be precise. And this turns out to be 1. Is 1 equal to 1? The answer is yes. So that's a happy case. Let's proceed ahead. Next we see is 3. And for the dis expected distance value for character B happens to be 3. What we will do? We'll do, we'll validate it against the indexes that we have stored in the input array and B occurs at two indexes 5 and 1. So we will calculate the distance between these two occurrences of B. So let's use the same formula 5 minus 1 minus 1. So what does this give? This gives you 3. 3 is equal to 3. We'll continue ahead with the rest of the elements. Next we have is C. The expected distance between C should be 0. Let's validate whether it's true or not. So C occurs at two instances, 4 and 3. So let's use the four, same formula, 4 minus 3 minus 1. This gives you 0. That means it's a happy case. The answer turns out to be 0. 0 is equal to 0. Let's proceed ahead. Next we see is D. So D has a value 5. That means the distance between the two occurrences of D should be 5. However, what you can see here that D doesn't exist in your input string. As a result of which we will be ignoring this up. So this is the corner case that I discussed initially that we have to think of one corner case and as a result of which this becomes a happy case. Let's proceed ahead. Next we see is E. e the value is 0. We'll skip it up. Next we have the rest of the elements are 0. So again we will skip it up and uh, since uh, none of the element occurs in my input string so that makes the entire string well placed. Since the entire string is well placed, we have to return true in those cases. Had it been the case where the distance value would not have ma the actual distance value would not have matched with the expected distance value, then in those cases we would have returned false. 
so this is the crux of the problem to conclude it further let's quickly walk through the coding section the time complexity of this entire approach is order of n the space complexity of this entire approach is constant space why i am saying constant space we'll get to know in some time here in the first go i have created a map and the map at max will have 26 elements in it as keys and each entry would have two parts in it the first part would be the index at which the first index at which that character occurs and the second part would be the second index at which that character uh, that character occurs and uh, in order to by default as a default case i have filled in the entire 2d matrix with minus one to start with so that i am aware of whether that number was part of the input string or not so i iterate over each and every character that exists in my input string and i extract the indices at which uh, the, this element occurs in case the zeroth index is minus one that means it has not been filled yet i set the, it value to i and in case it has been filled i set the second the first index to i so pretty simple and straightforward now let's proceed ahead once we have built in the indexes list map appropriately let's start the iteration over the distance array and in case my indices at i comma zero index is not equal to one so does indexes indices indices list at i comma one is not equal to minus one that means both the indices does exist in my indices list in my map uh, what do i do i calculate the actual distance value and once i have calculated the actual distance value i subtract minus one from it or what a better way to write is something like this as per the presentation so let's replace it with minus one over here and in case my actual distance is not equal to the expected distance value what do i do i return false and uh, in case line 20 th line 22 is never true that means uh, we have to return true in those cases so let's proceed ahead and submit the answer accepted so guys, I've exactly done the same thing that I talked in the presentation. The time complexity of this approach is order of n. The space complexity of this approach is constant time because this map will store const that will be stored in constant space. With this, let's wrap up today's session. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Your subscription truly means a lot to me.